Mixtures are formed by combining two or more materials. Here are the examples of mixtures. Number 1. Salt and water are the compositions of sea water. Number 2. Acetic acid mixed with water produces vinegar. Number 3. Ingredients such as sago, nata de coco, sweet beans, sweet ube, leche plan, ice cream, and milk are blended with crushed ice to make halo halo. Number 4. Chocolate chips added in cookies produces chocolate chips cookies. Number 5. Sand and seashells are the components of beach sand. Number 6. Iron metal mixed with carbon are used in manufacturing steel bars. Mixtures either form homogeneous or heterogeneous mixtures. Let us first discuss homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture comes from homo, which means the same, and genus, which means kind. Homogeneous mixture consists of a single base or one base. Homogeneous mixture is a solid, liquid, or gaseous mixture that has the same uniform appearance and composition. Homogeneous mixture appears uniform to the eye. Let us look closely to the particles of homogeneous mixture. Its components which are represented by green circle and violet circle are evenly distributed throughout the mixture. Here are the examples of homogeneous mixtures. Copper, which is solid combined with gold, which is also solid, yields copper gold, which appears uniform to our eyes. We cannot identify copper from gold in this mixture. Another examples are water, which is liquid, mixed with fermented grapes, which is also liquid produces wine which looks like uniform to our eyes we cannot recognize the components that we mix heterogeneous mixture comes from hetero which means different and genus which means kind heterogeneous mixture consists of two or more bases heterogeneous mixture has non-uniform appearance and different bases that can be recognized. Heterogeneous mixture is visible to the unaided eye and its components are obviously different from one another. Looking closely to the particles of heterogeneous mixture, it appears like this. The particles are not evenly distributed. The components which are represented by violet circles are concentrated in a certain areas. Here are the examples of heterogeneous mixtures. Pebbles and cement are solids, which are the components of conglomerate rock. In this mixture, we can still figure out pebbles from cement. Another example is sago, which is solid, or mixed with coconut milk, which is liquid, to make coconut milk with sago which we can still see its components that are sagu and coconut milk. Now, let us identify the following as homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. Let us start with seawater. Is this homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture? It is homogeneous mixture. Vinegar. Is this homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture? It is homogeneous mixture. Halo halo. Is this homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture? It is heterogeneous mixture. Chocolate chips cookies. Is this Homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. It is heterogeneous mixture. Sea sand. Is this homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture? It is 
heterogeneous mixture. Teal bars. Is this homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture? It is homogeneous mixture. Let us summarize what you have learned. Mixtures form by combining two or more materials. Mixtures either form homogeneous or heterogeneous mixtures. Let us differentiate homogeneous mixture from heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture consists of a single base, while heterogeneous mixture consists of two or more pieces. Homogeneous mixture has the same uniform appearance and composition, while heterogeneous mixture has different non-uniform appearance and composition. Homogeneous mixture components are unrecognizable, while heterogeneous mixture components are recognizable. The examples of homogeneous mixtures are seawater, vinegar, and steel bars. The example of heterogeneous mixtures on the other hand are halo halo, chocolate chips cookies, and sea sand.